<clears throat> Hello. Today we are going to play Star Wars X-Wings Miniature Games by Fantasy Flight Games. For the... We have the Core Set game and the TIE Interceptor and the A-Wing Expansion Pack. <coughs> Over here, the TIE Interceptor will be in the front of the two TIE Fighters. He will be Tur Fenner, if I'm pronouncing his name right. And he's a skill level 7. His ability is after you perform an attack, you may perform a free boost or barrel roll action. We also have two TIE Fighters from the Corset game. <laughs> one of them, one of the wings broke off of the one on the left side, right side of the TIE Interceptor, and we had the hot glue it back on with pink hot glue, so there's, that's why the ring's around it. So the one that has the broken wing, he is Mauler Mythyl. He is a skill level 7. His ability is when attacking at range 1, roll a, one additional attack die. And he also has elusiveness. When defending, you may receive one stress token to choose one attack die. Then the attacker must re-roll that die. If you have at least one stress token, you cannot use this ability. And then we have Tur Fenar. He also has an um, ability to uh, daredevil action. Execute white sharp one left turn or sharp <coughs> one right turn maneuver. Then receive one stress token. Then if you do not have the boost action, then roll two attack die. Suffer any damage hit and critical damage rolled. And then the one on the left is Howlrunner with a skill level 8. Its abil Howlrunner's ability is when another friendly ship is at range 1, is attacking with its primary weapon, it may re-roll one attack die. And Howlrunner's ability is when you are dealt a face-up damage card with the pilot trait, discard it immediately without resolving its effect. This is our battlefield area. We also have a broken TIE fighter that we just added as a um, obstacle in the battlefield. Every time we get to the move phase, or phase one, it'll move by one forward towards the rebels. Over here on the rebel side, we have Tycho Selchu, who is the A-Wing pilot. I will be playing him. He has a skill level 8. You may perform actions even while you have stress tokens. That's his ability. He also, he also has two upgrades. Marksmanship. When attacking in this round, you may change one of your focus results to a critical hit result, and all your other focus results to a hit result. And he also has homing missiles. Discard this card to perform this attack. The defender cannot spend evade tokens during this attack. And... Oh. What? Oh yeah, over here we have all of our maneuver things. We have our three defend and attack dice. We have our critical hit cards and all of our moving things, I forgot what they're called, and our attack ruler. <coughs> we also, our second rebel um, is Wedge Antilles. He has a skill level of 9. His oh. ability is, when attacking, reduce defender's agility value by 1 to a minimum of 0. And his upgrades are marksmanship, <coughs> which is the same as Tycho Selchu's. And he also has R5K6 as his astromech droid. After spending your target lock, roll one defense die. On um, evade result, immediately acquire a target lock on that same ship. You cannot spend this target lock during this attack. Those are all of our ships. If you hear any rain or thunder, we are experiencing a thunderstorm. And, oh yeah.
So, if any of you that are watching don't know how to play the game, it's divided into four phases. Phase one is you choose what move you're going to be by spinning the style. There's green, white, and red. If you receive a red, then you'll get a stress token, which means that you can only do green maneuvers after that. And then once when you choose a maneuver, phase two comes up, and you choose one of these, and you move your ship around the board with it once. Same with the Imperials. And then once when you get in range of each other, you can use this to um, shoot at the enemy if they're in the range. You can also flip it for Imperial. And then with these dice, this is the attack dice. If you roll it and it lands on a blank, you do nothing. This is critical hit. They get a critical hit card. There's hit and there's focus. And then for the defender, they can roll it. They get evade, focus, blank, and that's it. After the combat <coughs> phase, wait, I think I'm forgetting a phase. One second. I just read over this yesterday. Uh, so, there's the planning phase where you plan your move. Then there is the... <coughs> Wait, I skipped one. After the planning phase, there is the activation phase where you move your ship. Then there is the combat phase where you fire at enemy ships. And uh, those are examples of the combat. Actually, I think that there is only three phases. And then after phase three, you go back to phase one. That's how you play the game. Each ship has 75 points since that we're playing advanced. So each ship is under 75 points. Actually, I didn't check my A-wing, but I know for sure that it is. If we get any rules wrong, I must uh, miss them or skip them in the book because I was just uh, reading the basics for advanced. So now we will start playing with phase one. Tell them what we're doing. So right now we are doing phase one where we pick a maneuver, which is where our ship's going to go, and then after we choose it, we will flip the dial upside down so that the other players can't see it. Then once when we're done, we flip it back up, and then after we flip it back up, the maneuver on there, we will pick the little maneuver ruler, ruler and uh, we will we put it in front of the ship, and then we move it forward by that much. Also, if I pronounce the characters' names wrong, um, I do sometimes have trouble pronouncing Star Wars names. Listen, aren't you going to move your... How many did you choose? Okay. Now we're going to roll again. Wait. We just completed phase two. From... I can already tell that none of us are in range of each other. So we will start back over with phase one. Oh, I forgot one thing, real quick. I said earlier that I was gonna move the TIE fight, the crash TIE fighter by <coughs> one towards the direction of the rebels. Once when he, if he gets to the other side before the match is over, I will respawn it on the Imperial side and then it'll keep moving over again. Actually, this wing will be drifting off this way. Okay. Ready? Three, 
Wait, I didn't choose yet because I was doing that. <coughs> okay, three, two, one, flip. Suffer one damage, then flip the card face down. <coughs> and uh, the tight interceptor, um, Turfenner, he gets a weapon malfunction. Reduce your primary weapon value by one to a minimum of zero. Action. Will one attack die on a hit or crit result? Flip this card face down. So you need to roll an attack die, and whatever you land on, your tie. The interceptor will suffer it. You lost one health. You now have two health left. Now we can flip this card face down. What? How do we keep track of my health? Uh, you just got in your mind. Yeah. <coughs> and if you forget yourself. What uh, about the TIE fighter? Do I have to roll for him as well? Uh, wait. Let me recheck. I know I already forgot. See here. Uh, at the start of each combat phase, roll well, one attack die. So, on our next uh, combat phase, you need to roll well, one attack die. And then if you get hit, you can take a hit down to two damage, or one damage, whatever it is. But if you get a miss, or a crit, or a focus, then you're fine. Alright. You ready again? Yeah. Scepter. Reduce your primary weapon value by one to a minimum oh, of zero. You already flip. After you do that, it said to flip down. So you right, but for my first right turn, down. don't I have to do something? No, that's for your tie. Okay, fire. so this one's already done. Yeah. So I'm good. Ethan, who are you attacking? The tie interceptor or the tie fighter? Tie fighter. Okay, 
Oh, you're attacking this guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, first okay. of all, we need to roll a die. So that is number seven, so I have no limitations Wait. on seven. Okay. The type fighter's fine. Dead. Why? Why did you roll a die? What because it said... No, we had that, to... that's for TIE Fighter 8. Oh. He's shooting TIE Fighter 7. Oh, yeah. TIE Fighter 7 has no Here. limitations. Oh, wait, do I roll all my dice? Yes. And I roll all three of mine because I have hit. three and three. Mm -hmm. I got a hit. So I got a... Wait. Oh, Ethan just... He took all his die. No, what, did, what, did, what were your... What I were got you? hit and two points. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you got one hit points. and two points. I have a evade and two eyes, which means focus. focus. So the TIE Fighter is fine. So my TIE Fighter evaded your... And focus means what? Uh, only if you have special abilities. Which okay. okay. I don't have any special abilities yet. Alright, so that's missed. Nobody else can fire. Well, I can fire, right? Yeah, you can fire at East So I'm going to take TIE Fighter number seven. I'm well within His name range. Is Mahler Mithil, if I'm correct. Mahler. <coughs> Mahler Mithil. Uh, seven, yeah. So I'm well within range to shoot at Easton. So I get to shoot two. Oh, but number eight, right? No, this guy. This, no, this guy. Wait, that's. Those are him. Oh, yeah. so I'm sorry. You're you're correct. Number seven. Wait, which one did Easton shoot at first? Seven. He shot at seven. seven. Mahler Mithil. Right, so, so, no okay. so I'm going to shoot with two. Okay, they evade. And a blank. And yeah. I got a shot and a focus. But I have no focus. And my shot missed them because he evaded. Alright, so yeah. no one has taken any damage in this battle. So now we can move again. Okay. We have Don't forget, I'm going to be moving the TIE Fighter. going to move is the TIE Fighter. Okay. Oh, no, I take two or three. Alright. Hold on, I'm not done moving yet. This time, the Imperials... Oh! Yep. So that's Alright, wait. One second. Alright, so, let's see here. Mauler Mithil crashed into... Uh, um... Wedge until release. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Easton. He put on the wrong tag. He put on Red Squadron Pilot. Sorry. One second. He put on the wrong guy. Yeah, Wedge Antilles is underneath. Well, are the are the numbers different? Yeah. It just helps you identify. I'm just gonna change it real quick. Four to nine. <coughs> right, they're gone. <coughs> So why do you have identification numbers? There's only one X-Wing in the match. It's okay. 
Yeah, let's go. Wait, putting the identification numbers back on. All right, so the X-wing was about there. So, Molar Mithil and Wedge and Tail Lees have taken critical hit. Well, because they crashed into each other, from the way I understand, they will take critical hits. All right, those down. Okay. Wedge and Tilly's got a thrust control fire. Okay, um, the, for some reason the camera stopped recording after I read thrust control fire. So I'm gonna continue reading the card. Thrust control fire. Ship, immediately receive one stress token, then flip this card face down. That is for Wedge and Tilly's. And for How Runner? No, Mar Mithil. Uh, I can't find Molar Missile's old cards, so we'll just pick a new one. Wait. No. No. Yeah. Never mind. I found it. It's right here. Console Fire. At the start of each combat phase, roll one attack die on a hit result, suffer one damage. Then flip it upside down. Okay. Well, we're at the attack phase. Here you go. Okay. Uh oh. This is how we play the game. So this explain it. So it's just to explain the rest of the game before the battery dies. Uh well, the battery on the camera is about to die, and then we're gonna recharge it and continue playing. So uh once when we restart it, uh, we're gonna roll the die, see if Molar Mithil gets any attack points, then, our, then the TIE Fighters, TIE Interceptor, and the TIE Interceptor are going to attack the X-Wing and the A-Wing, and we'll just continue playing on from there. Until each. Until one of the teams loses all of its ships. And, uh, I don't know. I guess after this we'll make another video. Maybe after Christmas if we get some more stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.